In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add breadcrumbs to the WordPress 2014 theme and ones that will be generated by Yoast WordPress SEO plugin. As you can see, we're currently looking at the breadcrumb settings within the plugin. We've already defined a separator, some anchor text, prefixes where required, and just down towards the bottom, you can see we've chosen a bold the last page in the breadcrumb. So what that means is we now need to add this code snippet into the particular theme files where we want that to appear. So if we go back to WordPress and we just find a post, any old post, uh, I'm going to use Cosmos Awaits because it's just a regular text post. We can see there's not a great deal in there right now. So what we need to do is add those breadcrumbs in. So we need to identify where we want to add them. I think adding them just above that category there is a good spot. So if I just have a look, I can see that there's the div class entry meta and that's within the actual header on this page. So I think a good place would be between the header and the entry meta. So what we now need to do is go back into our text editor and you will need to connect your server at this point. And we need to just run a quick search. So I've already run a search and I've run it searching for class entry header within the 2014 theme directory. And there's actually 13 places where that's found. So we can see it's in content aside, content audio, feature post, gallery, image, Content link, content page, content quote, content video, content, image, widgets, and contributors. So that's quite a number of changes that we're going to need to make if we want to put this across all of those files. It's pretty easy to do though, there's not a great deal of work to do it. We're just going to do it for two files today. So I'm going to start going ahead and showing you that right now. The first one we're going to change is content.php. Fortunately, we've already copied content.php in an earlier tutorial into our child theme and you can see that here. All we need to do right now is identify where we want this breadcrumb to go. So we did that earlier, we said underneath the header and before the entry meta. So all we need to do there is create a new line and paste the code in that the plugin has provided us. And we save and we just quickly hop back into WordPress and we refresh that page and there you go. You can see it says you were here, homepage, the Cosmos awaits. Naturally, you can remove this part here and change that to be not bold if you'd like, but that's entirely up to you. The process is precisely the same if you want to add breadcrumbs to, to a video type post, for instance. So what we can do is hop back into our text editor and we'll go back to that find. And if we just look for the video, we can see contentvideo.php is where that will appear. So what we need to do now is go into the 2014 theme and find content video PHP. And we just copy that as in copy all of the contents of the file. And then in the 2014 child folder, we create a new file. We call it content-video.php to be the same as the parent theme. We paste what we require in there, which is the contents of that file. We just go back, find the breadcrumb code again, put it in exactly like we did before and save. So now back to our WordPress website and we'll open up our video post. And there you go. You can see it says you are here, our page, our video post. So that's all you need to know in terms of actually adding these breadcrumbs to your theme. The process will be slightly different depending on the theme you're using, but this process is consistent for the 2014 theme regardless of what template files you want to add it to. Just to reiterate what we've covered just earlier is that there's actually 13 content template files in here. So if you wanted to add that to all of them, you would need to do so one by one. That covers the end of the tutorial now. If you have any questions about how to create child themes, using child themes, or even just adding in the breadcrumbs to your child theme, please feel free to ask in the comments below.